Hi friends! Thanks for coming to Story Circle. We're going to read Honey in a Hive by Anne Rockwell, illustrated by S.D. Schindler. Let's learn some cool stuff about our friends, the honeybees, one of our state insects. Look what we've got here. Life cycle pictures. In spring and summer, the meadow is full of sweet-smelling flowers. Listen, do you hear a buzzing sound? It comes from the rapidly beating wings of many busy bees. They are busy gathering nectar, the sweet liquid inside flowers, to make into honey. They're gathering pollen, the yellow powder in a flower, to feed their queen and all her young bees. Bees live in hives filled with honeycombs that they build with beeswax from their bodies. In every beehive, there are thousands of bees and one queen who is bigger than any of the other bees. She doesn't gather nectar or pollen or do any work. Her job is to lay eggs that will become new bees. And there is the big queen hard at work laying eggs in the cells, surrounded by her court, the bees that take care of her. The queen bee leaves her home to fly high in the sky and mate with many male bees called drones. Drones don't do any work either. All they do is mate with the queen so she can lay hundreds and thousands of eggs. As soon as they have mated with her, they die. Most bees that hatch inside a hive are worker bees because there is a lot of work to be done making honey. And workers do all the work, not the drones, not the queen. All workers are female, but they don't mate or lay eggs. They gather food, guard and clean the hive, make honey, and feed their queen and her newly hatched bees. The food bees eat is honey made from nectar. Some workers have the job of finding flowers with plenty of nectar. Flowers have ultraviolet markings on them that people can't see. These markings lead to the place inside the flower where the nectar is. Unlike humans, bees can see these ultraviolet markings. This is how we would see flowers. But this is bee vision right here. This is how the bees see the flowers. And you can see how this is almost like a landing pad to tell the bee this is where the nectar is. Bees smell with their antenna and pads on their feet. Remember we learned how butterflies taste with their feet? The smell tells them if the nectar will make good honey. When a worker finds a field full of flowers, she needs help in gathering nectar from it. She flies back to the hive and does a dance. The dance tells other worker bees where the flowers are. As soon as the worker has finished dancing, other worker bees fly out of the hive and follow her to the flowers. It takes a lot of nectar to make a little bit of honey. The bees can't carry much nectar or pollen. They must make many journeys from the hive to the flowers and back again. When a worker brings nectar to the hive, she puts it in a hexagonal or six-sided chamber or cell made out of thin wax. These chambers are called cells. Then she flies off to get some more nectar while other workers get busy turning the nectar into honey. After a worker bee has made about 400 long flights, the muscles in her wings and legs are worn out. She usually falls to the ground and dies of exhaustion. Bees fan the nectar with their wings. This dries the watery nectar so that it becomes thick and sticky. It becomes honey. Honey's thickness and natural plant 
chemicals keep germs from growing in the honey. It can be stored in the honeycomb chambers for a long time, sometimes for years. When a wax chamber is full of honey, the workers seal it up and begin to make a new one. Each cell is exactly the same size and shape as the others. More nectar is brought and more honey is made and more thin-walled cells are filled. The honeycombs grow bigger and bigger. When it's time for a swarm, worker bees build special queen cells at the bottom of the honeycomb. The queen lays eggs in these cells. The workers make a special food out of pollen and chemicals from their bodies. This is called royal jelly, a food that only young queen bees eat. Workers feed the royal jelly to the new bees in the queen cells. The rich food helps these bees become queen bees. The old queen must then leave and, uh, and rule a new hive where she can lay the many eggs still left inside her. But she's too heavy to fly, so the worker bees stop feeding her. On the day she's thin enough to fly, thousands of workers and drones fly away with the old queen. This flight is called a swarm. The swarming bees find a place to build a new hive. They make new six-sided cells out of wax. Back in the old hive, the new queens fight. The strongest of them kills the others until only she is left. Well, who will feed her now? Most of the workers and drones flew off with the old queen, so the new queen must mate right away and lay more eggs. She flies up into the sky for her mating flight where drones wait for her. She mates in the sky with many drones for about two hours, and then she returns to the hive and lays eggs. Soon, new bees fill the hive. New workers search for nectar and bring it back to the hive, and more honey is made. Not only bees love honey, people do too. Do you like honey, boys and girls? I sure do. Some people gather wild honey and some build beehives like these here. For many thousands of years, people all over the world have observed bees and tried to learn all they can about them to get the honey bees make. Do you love to spread honey on your breakfast toast? Have you ever eaten honey in the honeycomb? Try it sometime. It's delicious combined with its chewy wax. Take a good look at the honeycomb before it's all gone. You will see how well bees build their honeycombs with the thin wax. It's amazing to see what a good job they do. Good builders. Look at the label on a jar of honey. It will usually tell you what kind of flowers the honey came from. Most of the honey we buy comes from clover, but some comes from wildflowers, some from orange blossoms. Every kind of flower has nectar, and bees gather it wherever they find it. And every drop of honey tastes just as sweet as a flower smells sunshine and summer in a jar. Right, friends? Thank you so much for joining me today to learn about the honey makers. <laughs>